How we break a fast may be as if not more important for our health and metabolic health than the fasting itself. And it's a really common place where people intentionally or unintentionally sabotage their health goals. While there are myriad healthy ways to break a fast, when I'm breaking a fast, I'm looking for a few things. I want to bring in high quality, real whole food based macronutrients, but also micronutrients. And what I really want to avoid is getting back on that blood sugar roller coaster that's going to leave me hungry, tired, and full of cravings. To achieve those goals, I have found that a combination of healthy plant or animal based protein, fiber, healthy fats, and if you are going to do starches, then whole, real food-based, unrefined starches combined with herbs and spices that pack a load of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory goodness is the way to go. What I eat specifically to break my fast really depends on the duration of my fast, what I have in my fridge, and what I'm feeling like on that particular day. Today, I'm going to walk you through a very simple fast breaker salad, and it keeps me satiated, energized, but still feeling light. And most importantly, not craving something an hour or two later. I'm also going to show you how this salad impacts my blood sugar as I'm wearing a glucose monitor. But if you don't have a glucose monitor, you can tell if your fast breaker was serving your goals because it should leave you feeling satiated, energized, light, not like you want to fall asleep on the couch and not hungry one or two hours later. Another thing to factor in, especially after longer fasts, is digestion and digestion capability, which can become a little bit sluggish after a longer fast. So in that case, I don't really like to break my fast with raw food. I like to use cooked food, which is easier to digest. And I like to add lots of digestion boosting herbs and spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander, and ginger. So here I have tons of rainbow colored vegetables. Herbs as if they are lettuce, good quality protein packed with fiber, vinegar, especially apple cider vinegar may help blunt a blood sugar spike, healthy fats like olive oil, sumac for antioxidant magic, and my blood sugar went up and came down very gradually, no spikes, no crashes. And my glucose reading just showed that I'm well within the healthy range, I didn't have a crazy spike, and I can tell I didn't because I feel really energized, really satiated not hungry and even though there were some good quality carbohydrates and starches in that meal and the lentils or the beans rather they were within that whole food matrix containing fiber and micronutrients and healthy fats ultimately however you break your fast focus on real whole foods and focus on a combination of foods that are energizing satiating and not going to put you back on that crazy unstable blood sugar roller coaster